In this video, you will learn how to use virtual domains, or VDOMs, to host multiple FortiOS instances on a single FortiGate. In this example, two companies in the same building, called Company A and Company B, use the same FortiGate, but have different internet service providers, or ISPs. To provide both companies with network and internet connectivity, each company has its own VDOM that is managed independently from the other. The root VDOM will be used to manage the FortiGate's global settings and configure the two other VDOMs. VDOM A will be used for direct internet access, using two interfaces. VDOM B will have a more complex internal network, using five interfaces. First, you'll need to switch your FortiGate to VDOM mode. Connect a PC to the FortiGate using an Ethernet cable, as described in your model's quick start guide. Log in using the admin account, go to the dashboard, and locate the system information widget. Find virtual domain and select enable. Certain FortiGate models will not show the above option in the system information widget. For these models, go to the dashboard and enter the following command in the CLI console. Config system global. Set VDOM admin enable. End. Enter Y when you are asked if you want to continue. You will be required to re-log in after enabling virtual domains, because the GUI menu options will have changed. Make sure that Global is selected from the drop-down menu located in the top left corner. Then go to System VDOM. And create two VDOMs, VDOM A. In this example, the inspection mode is set to proxy for VDOM A. This will allow this VDOM to use both proxy and flow based security scanning. And VDOM B. The inspection mode for VDOM B is set to flow based, so only flow based security scanning will be available. Next, Go to Network Interfaces to configure the management settings. By default, all interfaces are in the root VDOM. Edit the interface you wish to use to manage your FortiGate. If you wish to use this interface exclusively for FortiGate management, you can enable Dedicated Management Port. Set administrative access to HTTPS, Ping, and SSH. Then go to System Administrators and edit the admin account. Select Change Password to add a password to this account. Enable Restrict Login to Trusted Hosts and add the IP netmask of the admin PC. This ensures that the admin must log in using the admin PC to be able to manage the FortiGate and the root VDOM. Next, create an administrator for VDOM A called Admin A. Enter and confirm a password. Set type to local user and administrator profile to prof admin. Remove the root VDOM from the virtual domains list, then add VDOM A. This administrator will be able to access and configure VDOM A, but not access either the root VDOM or VDOM B. The account will also not be able to affect global settings. Next, create an administrator that can access VDOM B. Enter a password, set type to local user, administrator profile to prof admin, remove the root VDOM from the list, and add VDOM B. In this example, two interfaces will be added to VDOM A, one for internet access and one for use by the local network. If an interface is used in an existing FortiGate configuration, its VDOM assignment cannot be changed. Because some FortiGate models have a default configuration, you may need to delete existing policies and routes in order to add a particular interface. Go to Network Interfaces and edit the interface that VDOM A will use for internet access, in this example, WAN1. 
set virtual domain to VDOM A and roll to WAN. If your FortiGate is directly connecting to your ISP, set addressing mode to manual and set the IP netmask to the public IP address your ISP has provided you with. Next, edit the interface that will be connected to VDOM A's internal network, in this example, port 1. Set virtual domain to VDOM A and roll to LAN. Set addressing mode to manual, assign an IP and netmask to the interface, set administrative access to HTTPS, ping, and SSH. Save the interface. Next, go to VDOM A Network Static Routes to add a default route. Set destination to subnet, destination IP mask to eight zeros, the device to the internet facing interface, and the gateway to the gateway or default route provided by your ISP or to the next hop router. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policies, and create a new policy to allow internet access for VDOM A. Give the policy a name, set incoming interface to port 1, outgoing interface to WAN 1, source to all, destination address to all, and service to all. Ensure that NAT is enabled. Because this VDOM uses proxy inspection, you can enable a variety of security profiles that either use proxy or flow-based inspection. And for testing purposes, under logging options, Enable Log Allowed Traffic and select All Sessions. Next, we'll configure VDOM B. Multiple interfaces will be added to VDOM B, one for internet access and four additional interfaces for use by the internal network. These four interfaces will be combined into a hardware switch called LAN B which the FortiGate treats as a single interface. Go to Global Network Interfaces and edit the interface that VDOM B will use for internet access, in this example, WAN2. Set virtual domain to VDOM B and roll to WAN. Set an appropriate addressing mode and IP netmask. Next, edit the physical interface that will be used by VDOM B's internal network, in this example, port 5. Set virtual domain to VDOM B and roll to LAN. Repeat this process for any other physical interfaces that will be used by VDOM B, in this example, ports 6 through 8. Now create a new interface to be used by VDOM B's internal network, called LAN B. Set type to hardware switch and virtual domain to VDOM B. Add VDOM B's physical interfaces as physical interface members. Set role to LAN. Set addressing mode to manual. Assign an IP netmask to the interface. Set administrative access to HTTPS ping and SSH, and enable DHCP server. Next, go to VDOM B Network Static Routes to add a default route. Set destination to subnet, destination IP mask to eight zeros, the device to the internet facing interface for VDOM B, and the gateway to the gateway or default route provided by your ISP or the next hop router. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policies, and create a new policy to allow internet access for VDOM B. Give the policy a name, set incoming interface to LAN B, outgoing interface to WAN 2, source to all, destination to all, 
and service to all. Enable NAT. Because this VDOM uses flow-based inspection, you can only enable security profiles that use flow-based inspection. Under Logging Options, enable Log Allowed Traffic and select All Sessions. Using a PC located on VDOM A's internal network, browse to the IP of the LAN A interface. Log in to the VDOM using Admin A's credentials. When the GUI loads, only the options for configuration of VDOM A will appear. Generate some internet traffic for VDOM A, then go to 40 View Policies. You will be able to see traffic flowing through the Internet VDOM A policy. Right click on the policy and select Drill Down to Details. You could see more information about the traffic. Log out of the VDOM. Then attempt to log in using the global admin's credentials. You will not be able to log in because your IP is not trusted. You can also not log in using admin B's credentials. Switch to a PC located on VDOM B's internal network and browse to the IP of the LAN B interface. Log into the VDOM using admin B's credentials. When the GUI loads, only VDOM B's configuration will appear. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click here to subscribe. And you can find a written version of this recipe on cookbook.fortinet.com.